Hello, uh, this is Anya Devine here and this is part two of the video painting these daisies that are over there on the table. I had just started using the oil paint and I needed to make a few calls there. So it was no harm anyway because the first section was like 30 minutes long so that's long enough for anyone to be sitting. Um, I was on to my daughter Lily just organising picking her up. Later on she's shopping in Edinburgh. Um, okay, so now I've put my phone on flight mode and that'll be it. Just okaying the flight mode, yeah. And uh, we'll have peace now for maybe another 15 minutes or so while I continue working in oil to just highlight parts. Um, and I think I'll just continue showing you both the painting and the and the flowers that I'm painting so that you can see what I'm up to. I like the diagonal slope from right to left there. So I'm kind of maybe going to exaggerate, exaggerate it slightly by bringing this flower down slightly, I think. But really, I don't want to do an awful lot more. And what I'm what I'm managing now are the the dark marks in between the light petals of the daisies. That's what I'm focusing on just now. And then we can bring the white oil paint in for the brightness of the petals. This is oil that I'm using though it's a mixture of ultramarine blue and burnt burnt umber. Still concerned um, not to be like aware of not being too literal um, and not explaining everything out to the edges. You know, there's actually enough information. If I had a bigger brush, I'd be using it. I have a bigger brush, so now I'm going to use it for the Payne's Grey um, that I've made using the Ultramarine Blue and the Burnt Umber. That's Burnt Umber, that's Van Dyke Brown. They're very similar at least in the, the SAA pins. Well, you know, one is SAA, one is Windsor and Newton. And they look like the same colour to me. Right, so I'm doing the background here. Coming up to meet that stem. Need a little bit more paint on there. And every move I'm standing back to be sure that I'm not putting in stuff unnecessarily. Even this that might be unnecessary really. That whole area doesn't have to be doesn't have to be made clear, does it? Um I think I'd like to have some clarity at the top of this flower. Uh, and then again I might just do the ones over here that are are already in place. I might just begin painting those rather than keep going with the same tone all the way across. The only one that I probably w could do with identifying a little bit more clearly are the petals down here to do the paint in the dark up to meet where the light will be. And I want it a little bit drier so that it won't interrupt the white petals when I go to put them there. So I've Try to zest it, up, zest it off the brush a little bit. Just pushing and lifting to meet the stem. And then there's some long, elegant petals extending out over here from this daisy. Okay. Bring the center in a little bit farther. It looks to me to be more like there. I hope now that the sound is sorted. When I was at the beach, it was fairly. Um, you know, to be honest with you, the family beside me were making quite a lot of noise. There was a lot of uh, arguing about a, a particular hole in the sand. I nearly intervened at one point because uh, there was quite a lot of no noise, you know, and I wasn't able to, um, well, I just thought I should intervene anyway, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, so that's why some folk had said that they could hardly hear me. And it was also that I didn't position the microphone very well myself. So I'm hoping today now that it's, um, that 
that I'm loud and clear. You can let me know in the comments anyway. No, there is a this flower here that does have a kind of a V, just a single V shape in between the petals. And I think now I'm gonna stop with all of that business and um, go back and find, well, there's a little bit of green. I want to do everything but the brightness on the flower to this one. And you know, working up to the brightest part is what my aim is here. So I'm putting in the the green stem where it meets the back of the flower there, and the top of the stem has a bit more dark to it than the underside, and it's got a a, a slight wobble the stem as it comes down. So it's dark on that side. And then there's a, a leaf here that I think might be quite nice to pull out. So I'm going to mix the um, cadmium yellow with the sap green in order to make a colour. Hopefully it'll work for the stem there. And then for the leaf coming out here. And there's a brighter bit of that colour falling down in front of the stem. Um, there. I think that's okay. There's also another leaf over there then. It's got a similar character to it. Uh, about there. Okay. And that colour is found too on the brighter part of the stem here. And here, I think. And I'll put a touch of it on the um, making it a little bit more yellow for here. And then yellow and white to make the lighter one that's almost horizontal here. Maisie's been amazingly patient all morning. And she needs to have a walk really. So now she started <coughs> playing with the uh, Margot. Remember how that happened? Well, I can ask him to stop the video. But she seems to have left her alone again now. I know Maisie. The door's open out to the back so she can go out for a play in the garden. I think she really just wants to go for a walk, so we'll do that shortly. I'm just putting the green in where I see it. And I want to know, because I put the green in, I suppose it means that I now need to put in some sort of a value into the petals, the dark petals coming up here to make the green. Something I'd be fairly wary of though. So maybe rather than go there, I'll just diminish that green a little bit. That was oil paint, it's all come off. Anyway, it's fine. Okay, so over here now I'm back over to this this flower. There's the dark petal there. There's a dark petal here and here. It's not green though. So I need to find a different colour that's not green. So I just put some red into that. Dark petal there and there. And uh, and this one is going to shoot up there, and it's the dark background that really outlines that one. So I put a bit more blue in it, so it reads as a different colour. And I paint the background up to meet that dark petal there. And there's a lighter one that's outlined by the stem and the dark background. So I've got a darkish petal there, which needs to be given a slightly, made slightly lighter. Is 
carpets are a bit feathery at the edge, so just using this lighter grey to merge them more with where it has the white later on. And I think later on is now really. So to explain that white now, what am I going to use? I think what I do is get uh, the brush that has the kind of finest point on it and I'm going to make um, I'm going to mix the white so that it's fluid enough. Clean my brush so it's not so got dirt. Not, it's not got paints grey in there. Okay, so there's a fluid enough feel to the, the white paint there. What I like to do with these brushes is to scoop up a layer of that white paint, scoop it up so it's, there's a ridge of it on the end of the brush there. And I'm going to try it now and lay it down to describe the petal. Oh, here we go. Maisie's got some beautiful background music going on. So that's one of the bright petals. And there's, a, and there's another bright petal coming out from the front of the yellow part of the daisy there and extending forward into the into the blue grey but not as far as that so I'm just going to make it um, shorter than I had it before overlapped by a darker petal. Let's finish where the brightness of that one is. I want you to come down here. Maybe I will make that extend all the way over. I think that's okay. <coughs> and then there's one that's sweeping down um, and there's a bit of brightness on this one too. This one I lay in with the petal. And some of these tips are bright-ish. This one is a bit, a bit bright there. And the second one that's kind of arcing like that <coughs> and then there's um <coughs> then there's one that's shooting out here so i'm going to pick up a bit more paint it's really just laying the paint on rather than brushing it on so the brush is almost parallel to the paper yeah i want to bring that up so there's not a, an outline underneath about the petal above it Okay, oh, and there's a nice little tiny sliver of one that I can just see here, extending below a darker one above it. The darker one above it needs to be explained now as well, I suppose. Maybe not. There's a little bit of light here too. I'm standing back in between the moves just so that I don't overdo it. And I think overdoing it is... Um, Less likely if I move on to another flower and bring some of the same brightness in. So this one has a, a beautiful bright petal here. Extending into the light there. And of course this one will have a few a few bright bits too. So there's a, a ridge of light on that petal there. It comes out to here. And I'm going to half close my eyes now so that I don't go to town too much on these light bits and put too many in. 
to locate them where they actually are. Probably do with more of a mid color here in places before putting more white in. Maybe just one last one there. There is one that spills down that way that I think would be helpful to have a brightness on it. It's coming down here. Yeah, I think right there is when we're opposing that one. Okay. Background had some white paints grey in it, so it's a touch wet, but that's all right. And then this could have more, a little bit more value than us. I am going to do that mid-tone now because it's becoming more and more necessary that it's not completely white but that it's got a greyness to it like this. Now once I've established the petals a bit more substantially while not giving them too much brightness. And this one is wider at the base here. There's something less square about the ends of them. And I think the sunshine centre of the sun is going to make a difference when you get round to that. It might be a good idea to do it sooner rather than later, that centre. There's a tiny little sliver of a petal in brightness here. Really, really bright. Coming out from behind. A slightly grayer one there that I want to give a grey feel to. So I'm going to use. It's actually cadmium red and the ultramarine blue that are giving me this. It's giving me this kind of a grey I'm using here. Again, not a light plains grey really. Just want to show that that. Little that's bright has been overlapped by a darker one. Okay, <coughs> it's veering towards too much information, so I move on. Keeping lively. These, these now are um, needing to be greyer, these petals. Just put a couple, <coughs> a couple of bright ones up on this flower. Bright the one here, Maisie. So <coughs> I'm just gonna let Margot out the window. Just give me one second. <coughs> about that just um, oh gosh look my lovely clean jumper yellow ochre um, I just let Margot out there to save her life okay so what I was doing was putting a bit, bit of brightness into this flower here wherever I see the bright stems
do with some oil, really rather than the zested, in order to mix the paint and make it more, uh, you know, make it runnier, but for it to still be quite thick. Um, I'll do a filling off there. And a couple bright ones coming down this side too. And I can bring that um, brightness over here too to this this flower. That's um, uh, an important part of the composition for me. Right, I'm going to do a darker grey now with the cadmium red and the ultramarine blue and a bit of white. I think that grey worked well enough. Maybe with a touch of yellow ochre in it in order to paint the... Yeah, I want the shadows of the petals to be darker as they meet the centre of the daisy there. And also just to re-establish where the position of the centre is. A little bit too purpley for my liking, so I've put a bit more yellow ochre in, and now some uh, some white. I don't want it to be so different to the colour that's already there. And I wonder now whether the dark on this side will settle the centre in a little bit. There's a shadow on the on this side of the center of the daisy that's a little bit kind of greenish. <coughs> um, and there's a division between the petals that also has this grey, dark grey feel. So I'm going to do that here. Maybe not in everywhere I see it, but just there's a few places where from the centre of the, the daisy out, it helps to paint something of that thin, dark. And just here and there to divide the petals up. I know, Maisie. Almost there now. Okay, so the one that's really needing attention, I think, when I stand back, there are a few that are just uh, needing a bit more contrast. 
so I think I need to bring some darks into the edge where this one needs the brightness of the light in the window. And just kind of to give a little bit more shape to this flower. You've got an easy. I know. Okay, I don't have long more here, right? So really what I need to do is I'm going to take the, blue, the blueness out of that now. Maisie, stop it. Stop it, stop it. Might need to complete this later and just take her on her walk in, it, in fairness. I'm using the same brush for the darkest bit as I am, as I am for the white. Which wouldn't really be recommended. <coughs> okay, before I leave you, <coughs> Maisie, shish, before I leave you, I'm going to put a couple of centers into the daisies that, that are brightest. Sorry about the noise. Just a bright, a bright center there. Bright center there. I know. Here she is. Here she is. Good girl. Right center here. Touch of brightness. Big, big touch of brightness on that one. And a brighter center here as well. Oh no, Maisie. Don't drink that. It's like dirty paint water. <coughs> uh, what was I doing there? The brightness of that centre, yeah. I know, Maisie. I know. Something came to me as I did that. What was I going to do? <coughs> Maisie, something came to me as I did that. What was I going to do? Hmm. What do you think? <coughs> I know. <coughs> This isn't actually what I was going to do, but I do need to make it this pedal a bit more brightness. Oh yeah, I remember. What I was going to do was just to finally re-establish that bright blue with um, the oil paint. <coughs> I know, Maisie. You're going to go for a walk. You're going to go for a walk, love bright blue so if I can mix it now with the white and ultramarine blue which I think I've got yeah. that's good yeah. white and ultramarine blue I think will work here yeah. to bring that brightness in maybe even a little bit more white Maisie what do you think here she is look there's Maisie and here I am mixing this making it a bit yeah. whiter yes Maisie I know I know, we're almost done. So I've got a ridge, a ridge of the, I've picked up a ridge of the blue again and I'm just going to, before, before Mary Lazy tears, tears the last thing, I'm just going to place it there. And you know what, I'm going to stop there for goodness sake. So, right Maisie, up, up. Okay, so for me and for Maisie, kiss. it's goodbye for now. I might come back and decide I don't want to do any more to that. Because actually on the screen it looks like it's pretty finished. I'll just let you see the end of that side. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Off. Okay, bye.